of Governor Andy Bashir, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, the Kentucky Board of Education Chairman, Sharon Porter Robinson, here, Kevin Daly, who now has a very dope pair of shoes. <laughs> we'll talk about a little bit later, I'm sure. For me to welcome Kentucky teacher Fletcher, Commissioner of Education of our great It's an honor to be here in our beautiful state. Thank you for attending across the state. I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of our educators who are here in Frankfurt to celebrate with us here today. These are our teachers, principals, superintendents, and school board chairs. I know that for some of you, it was a long drive to come here to Frankfurt, and we do appreciate your being here to support these outstanding educators, which I've had the opportunity to talk to on the phone and also this morning. It's been a wonderful opportunity for me to meet such celebrities. This is a day of celebration to recognize the work and accomplishments of these nine exemplary educators. They represent more than 40,000 fellow ed teachers who give of themselves every day to help our students achieve success. I want to be the first person today to say thank you to these nine exceptional teachers for all you do. Not just on behalf of the Kentucky Department of Education, but on the behalf of your students, your schools, your communities, and the education profession. We appreciate you and your dedication to each and every student. I'd also like to thank the members of the Kentucky Board of Education as well as members of the Kentucky General Assembly who were able to join us today. If you're a state board member or a General Assembly member, please stand so we can recognize you. And let's give these individuals a round of applause. Thank you so much for your dedication and your support. Today's celebration honors the most important profession there is, teaching, without a doubt. As a superintendent, I adopted an all-in mantra in Lawrence County. I had a common goal for everyone, students, families, teachers, school staff, and the community to be all in for inspiring, for challenging, for equipping our students to dream, to persist, and to succeed. When our students succeed, after all, our communities, our people, our commonwealth succeeds, succeeds. The teachers we are recognizing today have shown they prioritize students and student success. They exhibit the all-in mentality for making sure our kids are given every opportunity to achieve success. Kentucky's shared vision for the future of public education, called United We Learn, asks everyone, students, families, our communities, our schools, to be all in, to bring about deep and authentic learning experiences for all students. The most important factor in the achievement of our students is the effectiveness of the teachers and principals who serve them. And I'll also say the classified staff members across our state, our cooks, our secretaries, our bus drivers. So when we talk educators, we're talking about the whole team. Today we get to honor teachers. We'll honor others as we move forward. Again, Kentucky has some of the greatest educators in the nation. As we continue to strive to offer all children the best education possible, it's important that we retain our current high quality teachers and recruit more people to the teaching profession. We also need to be aware that our teachers cannot be alone. Our educators cannot be alone in this quest for the best future for our students. We need everyone in our Commonwealth to be united in supporting our students and helping them achieve the success 
they deserve. I truly believe if we're all in, the dreams that are being cultivated in our classrooms today will become the success stories of our commonwealth tomorrow. We'd also like to take this opportunity we, to thank our uh, executive branch. We applaud Governor Bashir along with Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman for their efforts to support our excellent public education system that produces the future leaders of our commonwealth. Unfortunately, Governor Bashir is unable to be here with us today, but he has prepared a special message for our nine Teacher Achievement Award winners. So, if we could. Hi everyone, it's Andy. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today, but I have a great representative, one of your own, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman. I wanted to take a moment to welcome you to your state capitol and congratulate each of you as we celebrate this year's Teacher of the Year. My administration has always been and will always be an education first administration. Supporting public education is how we build a better Kentucky. I know this because I am a proud graduate of Kentucky's public schools and both of my kids are in public schools too. And your Lieutenant Governor, who is both a mom and a teacher, understands just how important our public schools are as well as anyone. When we say we are an education first administration, we also mean we are an educator first administration. And that includes our teachers, coaches, librarians, lunch staff, bus drivers, and so many more. Because you're the ones supporting our kids as they grow to become the best versions of themselves, as they grow to become the next generation of Kentucky leaders. And your support often goes beyond academics. You help our kids build character and you demonstrate compassion and kindness. You also make sure they are healthy and you help keep them safe. Since taking office, we've been proud to welcome this ceremony to our state capitol, and over the years we've heard some truly amazing stories. Your stories are inspiring and show parents like Brittany and I that Kentucky's future is bright. I hope you all enjoy today's celebration because you deserve it. So congratulations to everyone being recognized, and remember, life's short, so keep doing good things and be kind to each other. And the enthusiasm that you see on camera each day is something that she gives every single day for the education profession. It's not a show, it's who she is. So I have the honor to let share this day with Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman. And it's a special day for our teachers and we're honored that you could be with us today. So would you like to share a few words? Let's give her a round of applause please. Well, good morning. This is one of my favorite days of the year. This is one of the fa my favorite events that I get to take part in every year. And as Governor Bashir mentioned, it's because we pride ourselves on being an education first administration. Always have been, always will be. And, you know, as the highest elected mom and highest elected teacher in this Commonwealth, this is personal to me because I walked in the shoes of our educators and my daughter will soon sit in the desks in your classrooms. And here's what I know, the future of Kentucky's economy is in our classrooms today. And that makes our teachers the original job creators. Because the lofty economic investment numbers that we tout don't matter if we, only, if we don't have a workforce that matches them in quantity and quality. We can only accomplish this if every child in Kentucky has access to high quality public education. In fact, there is no greater way to change a person's economic situation than by improving their level of education. To all the honorees today, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud because I know who you represent and I know that when you get your award, you're going to thank everyone else because that's what you do but know how proud we all are of you and the work that you have done. You are the best of the best, and you embody what it means to fulfill a calling in the classroom. So thank you for making a profound difference in your community, in your classrooms, and in this Commonwealth. You are the best of Team Kentucky. Know that you will always have a friend and a supporter as long as Governor Bashir and I are in this capital. 
Thank you so much. And I'm going to turn it back over to Commissioner Fletcher. It's an absolute honor to share the podium with a fellow educator. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. We know that her support for the teaching profession is another example of what it means to be all in to help our students succeed, and we appreciate that so much. Now, I do have the uh, honor of also talking about the process, the process that these nine individuals and so many others went through to get to this point. The Kentucky Department of Education received more than 500 Teacher of the Year nominations. And I can see the educators that are here just like, wow. Just because of who you are, I, I can see that on your face and on your demeanor of, wow. I represent 42,000 educators, 500 that applied for this. And you know what? You should be very proud to be here. There's a reason. It is an honor to be recommended for this award. And we want to pay tribute to you and to your commitment to students. So we're going to make a few minutes to say and to be about you. A blue ribbon panel of highly respected educators reviewed and scored each application. Candidates receiving the high scores were invited to interview with our judges. And the list was narrowed down to these nine individuals that you see here today. These nine individuals have been named by KDE as Teacher Achievement Award winners. Each of these individuals will be honored with a $1,500 award. And I think we have a check here for that. I think that's over, by, over to the side. So, as you can see, as Dr. Jones is shown for us. And the commissioner doesn't expect a cut of that, I promise. Uh, we can talk later. There's certain awards I can receive, I can't, but, but no, again, you deserve every dime and much more. This honor signifies professional achievements in the work these individuals do each day to serve as models of the teaching profession. These teachers were selected because they have the respect and admiration of not only their students, but also their colleagues. They are experts in their field and advance growth for students of all backgrounds and all abilities. They build collaborative relationships with colleagues, students, and families to create a school culture of success. They deliberately connect the classroom to the community. They are lifelong learners and teacher leaders using innovative learning experiences both in and out of the classroom. And they express themselves in such a way that it conveys the engaging classroom experience. I know that several judges are in the audience here today, so if you wouldn't mind, please stand and be recognized if you served as a judge on the panel. <laughs> 500 applications, down to nine, down to three, and down to one. Thank you so much for your time and commitment because it didn't happen overnight by any stretch. To you, we express our sincere, sincere thanks. I know it was a difficult job. One of these judges was Kevin Daly, our 2024 Kentucky Teacher of the Year. Kevin, please join me at the podium to help introduce our 2025 Kentucky, Kentucky Teacher Achievement Award winners, one of whom will be named Kentucky's next Teacher of the Year. Thank you, Dr. Fletcher. It's been an honor to serve as the 2024 Kentucky Teacher of the Year. I was asked to make a couple of remarks, and just like last year, I didn't prepare a speech. Um, I'm a person who speaks from the heart and speaks from the gut, and I think that's something um, I've learned along the way. Being Teacher of the Year means a ton, but it brings a lot of feelings. It brings feelings of pride, of honor, um, of excitement and joy. It also brings feelings of inadequacy and fear and guilt. And all of those things for me personally, and from a lot of the folks that I've talked to, it carries with it this question, 
Why me? Because I know so many amazing teachers. I've worked alongside them. Some of them have gone and retired and were never honored this way. So why me? I don't think I'm supposed to know that answer. I think I'm supposed to ask myself the question. And not in like a demeaning way of like breaking myself down and feeling that imposter syndrome that high level professionals often feel. But in a way to remind me to think, what is it that I do that serves others? I think at the heart of every educator is service. And being teacher of the year amplifies that call to service. Now, instead of just serving your students and your district, you are serving our profession, our state. And man, is that amazing. What I've learned about myself through asking that question, why me, over the last year, is that I have a magic about me and about my classroom. And so do each one of you. You may not see it, but others very clearly do. You are in these chairs because you belong to be in these chairs. There are going to be folks that make you feel otherwise. There are going to be questions. There are going to be silences when you walk into a room now. It's OK. If you ever feel down about that, just give me a call. I'll give you my phone number, OK? What I know is that you deserve your flowers. So we are all going to give them to you today. And it's your job to accept them. And keep asking, why me? Because I want you to know the magic that your students know, that your families know, that your administrators and your communities know. And I'm really excited for the state of Kentucky to get to know them too. Now, we're gonna recognize the nine 2025 Kentucky Teacher Achievement Award winners. We begin with the three educators in the elementary school division. As Dr. Fletcher mentioned, this honor comes with a $1,500 reward, and that's awesome. Don't spend it on your classrooms. This is yours. It's your achievement. Spend it on whatever you want. When your name is called, please come to the front to receive your certificate and have a photo taken with Lieutenant Governor Coleman, Commissioner Fletcher, and Chair Robinson. I will briefly share a little about each educator and how their practice reflects the United We Learn vision Dr. Fletcher mentioned earlier. Our three elementary teachers named 2025 Kentucky Teacher Achievement Award winners are Angela Nicole Hardin from Peace Academy in Jefferson County. This is Angela's 19th year teaching. She currently teaches K through three students who require acute or long-term behavioral and mental health inpatient hospital care. She believes the best way to ensure every student's success, especially the special education students under her charge, is to advocate and create a culture of inclusion, deeper learning, and equitable access. Next, we have Scott Johnson from Red Cross Elementary School in Barron County. <laughs> Scott is in his 22nd year as an educator. And if you see how excited he is in 22 years, oh my gosh, you know this is the profession for him. This is his fourth year teaching science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics, or what we call STEAM to students in preschool through sixth grade. He encourages educational innovation through curiosity and creation. His STEAM lab quickly grew from one 3D printer to seven, and his students experience hands-on learning with real-world applications. Our third nominee is Sarah Wallace from Robert B. Turner Elementary School in Anderson County. Sarah is in her 14th year as an educator, having taught preschool to fifth grade. 
For the past eight years, she has taught fifth grade social studies with integrated writing. As an educator, she encourages authentic, personal connections to help deepen her students' sense of community. Her students learned about prisoners of war through meeting with local veterans. They also created personalized letters and posters for their Veterans Day parade. To announce the elementary school division winner and finalist for the Kentucky Teacher of the Year Award, I now invite back to the podium Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman. All right, thank you, Kevin, and thank you for your outstanding service as the 2024 Kentucky Teacher of the Year. I take credit for Kevin's success every time I get a chance because he did his student teaching in the classroom next to me, so that had to have been some kind of influence there. Um, but I want to say thank you. Um, congratulations to all three of our elementary nominees. Thank you to Angela Nicole Harden, Scott Johnson, and Sarah Wallace. Um, and let us celebrate all three for the work that they do on behalf of Kentucky's elementary school students. I now have the pleasure of naming one of these individuals as the 2025 Kentucky Teacher Achievement Elementary School Division winner. This individual will receive a total award of $3,000. Once we announce the winner, please join us up front to collect your award and to say a few words. Our 2025 Elementary School Teacher of the Year finalist said they started their career in education inspired by their former educators. This educator is known for encouraging their students to live out their dreams and to take risks. This educator has provided opportunities for students to give back to the community through their STEAM designs and projects. This educator put together at-home experiment kits during COVID and delivered them to students' homes so they could work on their projects together even though they weren't all in the same classroom. The 2025 Elementary School Division winner and finalist for the Kentucky Teacher of the Year Award is Mr. Scott Johnson from Red Cross Elementary School. Holy smokes. Um, and that, those were actually the words that I used when, um, oh my gosh, Dr. Um, Robert Fletcher, commissioner, called and said I'd made it to the final nine. I think I gave a very distinguished and um, refined holy smokes response at that time, too. I may have even dropped the word dude during the conversation. Um, I, I don't have the, the appropriate words, but I've, my wife, Michelle Johnson, is right over there, and I just want to thank her first. She's a high school English teacher. And, she, she works her butt off. She proofread every paper I did over the course of all my, my graduate degrees, and I'm sure she wondered how I spoke English and that I actually had a degree. So I love you and thank you. Thank you to, listen, the, all the amazing women that are right here are my two wonderful elementary co co colleagues and the wonderful, it, any of us would be lucky to have them in our districts or on our staffs. You're, you all are amazing. Thank you to my superintendent, Mr. and Ms. Amy Irwin. She's here. She came from Barron County today. She's in the red coat back there looking really nice. I like, like the red. Um, thank you to all of you. Thank you to the Kentucky Department of Education. I, I love public schools. My heroes growing up were public school teachers. Um, it was the first time in my life I ever believed that college was something real I could do. And when I went to Lindsey Wilson in 1998, I never had a doubt. All I wanted to be was a school teacher. I just wanted to touch someone's life in the way that the people I grew up had touched mine. Um, and 
I just, I just want to tell you today, you all are dream makers. You really are. We stand on the shoulders of giants. And just like my teachers inspired me, you all inspire me. I'd love to pick your ears and, and be in your classrooms and see what kind of stuff you got going on. And I could, I could take it to mine as well. Um, you, you possess the seeds of curiosity. You sow ingenuity and you reap knowledge and you have the power to cultivate people to go on to create great things and further our society to heights that, man, we don't even know yet. So I give my hearty uh, appreciation and thank you to all of you. I thank you so much to the all people in coming. Yes, you're this is so exciting. Congratulations, Scott. We'll now transition to the Achievement Award winners for the Middle School Division. As I call your name, please join us up front to receive your certificate and photograph. These middle school teachers are semi-finalists for the Teacher of the Year Award and will each receive a $1,500 award. Our 2025 Kentucky Middle School Teacher Achievement Award winners are Jennifer Montgomery from Eminence Independent. Jennifer is celebrating 23 years as an educator. She has taught English at every grade level from six through 12. She is also working on an endorsement as a K-12 ESL teacher. One of the hallmarks of Jennifer's teaching is her focus on authentic audiences and community involvement. She invites the community into her classroom and takes her students into the community, truly embodying anytime, anywhere learning. Next is Jessica L.F. Talley, Mount Washington Middle School in Bullitt County. <laughs> Jessica has been teaching for 13 years and currently teaches eighth grade English and language arts. She also has certificates for, middle school, for school media librarian and teaching English as a second language. Jessica works to ensure student success by advocating for and collaborating with professional teams to support English learners. Jessica's journey teaching English learners has extended into the community where she now teaches adult EL classes to support families. <laughs> Alicia, Alicia C. Thomas, Lexington Traditional Magnet School in Fayette County. Alicia has been teaching for 28 years and currently teaches eighth grade science. Alicia supports innovative learning with her students through a Sharkology unit, focusing on both scientific inquiry and ethical awareness. This lesson helps empower her students to become critical thinkers, responsible learners, and lifelong learners, a staple of Alicia's educational practice. I now invite Dr. Sharon Porter Robinson, Chair of the Kentucky Board of Education, to the podium to introduce the Middle School Division winner. Chair Robinson is a retired educator whose 31-year career took her from positions ranging from the classroom to the U.S. Department of Education. Oh, this event, um it's impossible to say how important it is to all of us in the, on the board and in the department because we understand it is the occasion to recognize those of you who work at the very core of the matter. It is the opportunity for us to celebrate really what being a profession is all about. You know, a lot of times folks hear that word and they associate it with status and financial <coughs> well-being. And for teachers, it should be about those things, absolutely. But for us, it's more about learning. It's more about the knowledge and skills 
we bring to the folks that we know are dependent on us to establish their foundation for their future, the foundation for their future learning, and our foundation as a community in which we all can thrive. We know it means that you don't get to choose who comes to you for your practice. It means that you come every day to meet them with all you have to give and to help them understand all they have to give. We know it means that you care that you care about protecting them and their physical safety, their psychological health, their well-being, and their sense of belonging in a community, because that is our contribution to a thriving community where all of us are succeeding. So I just want you to embrace all that we celebrate when we say we are acknowledging true leaders in this profession. It is truly an honor to introduce the um, middle school teachers, um, teacher winners. I have to get back to the script now. <laughs> I want to congratulate Jennifer Montgomery Jessica Talley, and Alicia Thomas. It was a great pleasure to engage with you earlier this morning and get to know middle school teachers because I remember what it was like being in middle school and those parents who said to me sometimes in awe, how do you stand it? And you trying not to be a smug professional, but reminding those parents of the lights that you see in the eyes, the days that you meet them, and the great aspirations that you hope to inspire in all of them. One of these individuals will be the 2025 Kentucky Teacher Achievement Middle School Division winner, and will receive a total award of $3,000. Once I announce the winner, I hope you will join us up front to collect your award and say a few words. Our 2025 Middle School Teacher of the Year finalist was a strong, has a strong love of literature. A former colleague of this teacher said, they transform the hearts of their former students through the units they create. Another colleague said this educator goes the extra mile to make curricular connections that involve firsthand experiences for her students. This educator was taught, has taught grades six through 12 and is working on certification to teach English as a second language. And this national board certified teacher currently teaches English and other electives in the Eminence Independent School District. The middle school division winner and finalist for the 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year Award is Jennifer Montgomery, Eminence Middle School. Jennifer, please join us for a picture.
also, I first off want to thank my family who is here today, my husband, two kids. Um, without them and my faith, I wouldn't be standing before you today. Additionally, I would like to thank my superintendent who is here as well as all the administrators from my school and from the Board of Education because at Eminence Independent, they have truly created a place where teachers feel valued and where we are encouraged to um, use our creativity and never be afraid to take a risk and fail. And so that's a very special environment to teach in. And I have learned and grown both as a professional as well as an individual teaching at the school um, at Eminence Independent. When I think back to the three-room house that I grew up in in Trimble County with no running water and no telephone, um, it helps me just reflect on why I became a teacher in the first place because I am a product of, pub of public education and I had incredible educators all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade as well as at co in college and I remember each one of their names because of the profound impact that they had on me. From kindergarten and first grade I had Miss McCombs and Mr. Fawbush in middle school Miss Evers and Miss Long in high school Miss Coyle and Mr. Warren in college Dr. Strait. These are all individuals that impacted my life because they poured into me, they believed in me, they encouraged me and most importantly they believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So this is what I aspire to do in my own classroom, to help my students see their worth as individuals and to help them believe in themselves. Their lives are as significant and important, not just in the future for what they will do with their lives, but also they're important right now for who they are. And so I'm proud today to represent over 40,000 other Kentucky educators who are doing these same things in their classroom classrooms, changing one child's life at a time by just helping them simply realize that their stories are important because they are important. Thank you. Do you guys feel the excitement coming? We're, we're getting close. Congratulations, Jennifer. We'll now transition to the Teacher Achievement Awards for the high school division. As I call your name, Please join us up front to receive your certificate and photograph. These high school teachers are semi-finalists for the 2025 Teacher of the Year Award and will each receive $1,500 reward. Our 2025 Kentucky High School Teacher Achievement Award winners are Jamie Brown from Marion County High School. Jamie is celebrating 27 years as a social studies teacher. She has spent the past 16 years teaching 10th grade U.S. history and 11th and 12th grade dual credit psychology. Jamie connects her students to the community through service and history with the National Beta Club, which she sponsors, and restoring local abandoned cemeteries dating back to the mid-1800s with her Young Historians Club. Next, we have Katie Blair Cecil from LaRue County High School. <laughs> Katie has been teaching for 24 years. For the past 18 years, she has taught English and public speaking in grades 9 through 12. She is a third generation teacher and believes the best way to ensure student success is to broaden their educational opportunities. She does so by advocating for and expanding college and career opportunities and dedicating her spare time to students who often do not have other supports in place to complete applications or prepare for tests. Our third high school achievement award winner is Haley Dant from Randall K. Cooper High School in Boone County. Haley is a 14-year veteran educator who teaches ninth grade English. She encourages educational innovation through project-based learning. Her literary playlist project called for students to consider how music can communicate about characters and themes and stories. The unit inspired more student choice, student voice, and accountability in the learning process.
To present the high school division winner, I welcome Dr. Fletcher back to the podium. Before I announce the winner, I've made comments about the pictures that you see of our educators in action and the sheer joy, not only from the students, but also from our teachers. You can only imagine, you can't imagine exactly how far that smile goes and then how far it goes in a student's life. One of the things that we are tasked with so many times is to teach our students to dream. Let them know the possibilities and again, each person here and those that are watching that are educators, thank you for what you do for teaching our kids to dream. So now it is my honor to announce this year's winner for the, for the high school setting. Each of you should feel pride knowing that you are among Kentucky's best educators. To our high school teacher achievement award winners, to Jamie Brown, Katie Blair Cecil, and Haley Dant, you represent the finest our Kentucky, our Commonwealth, our classrooms has to offer. One of these individuals will be the 2025 Kentucky Teacher Achievement High School Division winner and will receive a total award of $3,000. Once we announce the winner, please join us up front to collect your award and to say a few words. <clears throat> A former student describes our 2025 Kentucky School Teacher of the Year finalist as a fiercely loyal advocate for our students, who sets students up to excel by foster, fostering creativity, resolving conflict, and working together and taking accountability for their education. This teacher believes student choice and student voice are essential in any classroom to build confidence, accountability, and ownership in their learning imperative skills for all students that transfer to real world situations. As they depart from her classroom each day, this teacher instructs her students, be good humans, make good choices. Shouldn't look up. A former student said this educator has superpowers and gave the teacher a superhero name, the Dantonator. The high school division winner and finalist for the 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Award winner is Haley Dant, Randall K. Cooper High School. Haley, please come join us for a picture. nerve-wracking at all um i would first like to thank just kde for this amazing opportunity and it's so rewarding um my school district boone county my school that i have been a part of for 14 years and will probably be there until the end of my career um randall k cooper high school my admin my faculty staff, my colleagues, um, my family. I mean, my parents had to deal with me at six years old, setting up stuffed animals to teach them how to do things. Um, so, and then my husband, who has been an endless support, my son. I am a better teacher because of him, because I want to be the best teacher possible. Um, and my students, I do this job for my students. I do believe, as my former student had told me, that we do have superpowers. Um, whether we feel it every day or not, um, we are ultimate decision makers and problem solvers and support systems and family to our students. And they mean the world to me, past and present students. I love them with my whole heart and I want nothing more than to make sure that they feel that love and support and they are good humans and they are confident in themselves just like I have that confidence in them as I release them into the wild, into the real world. Um, I am just so humbled and so honored with this. So thank you all so very much.
Okay, if any of you want to be commissioner at any point, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Don't look up uh, when you're reading one of these because it's overwhelming to see the looks in their eyes. It really is. So again, congratulations um, to each person. Now, today's celebration demonstrates our commitment to high-performing educators. One individual among these nine honored here today is about to be named the overall 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year. You all represent the best of Kentucky. No matter what subject, area, or grade level they teach, these educators challenge, lead, and set good examples for the students in their care. I want to emphasize that, the students that are in their care. There is no greater compliment that you could ever have than for a parent to say, I trust you with my child. Yes, you educate them, but more importantly, you love them. And that is absolutely, there is no higher compliment than to someone to say, I trust you with my child for one year, two years, or multiple years. Today, we honor these nine teachers for the impact they have made on student lives. And I know our judges had an incredibly difficult responsibility of selecting one of you as the Commonwealth National Teacher of the Year program representative. This individual will receive a $10,000 award to support their role as an ambassador for the teaching profession. Katie is also is providing the 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year with a six month professional sabbatical opportunity to assist Katie's efforts to grow, strengthen, and diversify Kentucky's educator workforce. In other words, we want to learn from you. <clears throat> The 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year will not only represent teachers across the Commonwealth, but also will participate alongside teachers across the nation. And now it's time to announce the 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year. Dr. Robinson, would you like to do the honors and announce our overall winner? Thank you so much, Dr. Fletcher. Um, I want to first uh, Commend, congratulate again our all nine of our finalists and our teacher, our winners in each of the categories. Um, Dr. Fletcher said it right when he said, Don't look up. Because <laughs> I have to tell you, it's overwhelming to see the well earned sense of sincerity and commitment that each of the finalists expresses in their comments and just in the way you have engaged with one another. I see community being developed among you that is a storehouse of riches for our kids. It is really uh, humbling and I want us always to be appreciative of the treasure that we celebrate in you. The Teacher of the Year Award is bestowed upon one individual who serves as a voice for all teachers and students across the, the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And that is an honor to celebrate that person because that's just another aspect of service to our community and to our profession. This individual will be called upon by education leaders across Kentucky and across the nation to share their voice and their perspective, to help lift up the teaching profession and the work of our highly skilled, talented educators. You will help shine a light on the good work happening in our schools, in our classrooms, in our commonwealth. And I know you're anxious to know who will carry the title of Teacher of the Year, so I will get on with it. <laughs> Once we announce the winner, please join us up front to collect your award and say a few words. Let's again, though, recognize our finalists. Scott Johnson, Red Cross Elementary School in Barron County. Please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jennifer Montgomery, Eminence Middle School in Eminence Mid Independent. <clears throat> and Haley Dant, Rad uh, Randall K. Cooper High School in Boone County. The 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year intentionally seeks student input and agency in project design. <clears throat> they are known for deliberately inviting community members to connect with their classes. Their classes have designed and painted flower gardens in the local library and painted over 120 fire hydrants, <coughs> pardon me, coated based on the amount of water pressure each hydrant receives. Their class even created a website for a local cemetery so anyone can search the, if anyone can search if loved ones are buried here. This teacher begins her seventh grade English language arts class each year with a water scarcity project, which is personal, as she grew up in a rural part of Kentucky with no running water or telephone service. This educator has a challenge for educators. Bet on the underdog. Find a student it seems the world may have given up on and bet everything that you have on them. Because if you don't bet on them, she says, who will? The 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year has been teaching for 23 years, most of them in Eminence Independent School District. Please join me in congratulating the 2025 Kentucky Teacher of the Year, Jennifer Montgomery. I did not prepare another thing to say, but I will, <laughs> um, I will just say that I think that our communities are one of our greatest assets. Um, I intentionally involve my students in our community because I think that when you come from a small community, sometimes people view that as a limitation. And I know that coming from a small community, it's actually not a limitation. In fact, it's just one, it's one of the greatest assets that we could have because our communities are full of supportive people. And so um, just to give an example, I, so many of my former students, I have a, a student who went to Eminence Independent who is now an NFL agent, another who it, works for NASA, another who's a model, another who is an ambassador. So these students went to a small school in a very small city and they were able to achieve the dreams that they had always dreamed of with the support of our community. And just on a personal note, um, my own son, who's sitting here with us today, who's currently a sophomore, um, he had a severe accident in baseball a few months ago, back in March, and our community, my students, my students' parents, and our entire community surrounded us with love, with support. They sent us emails, they sent us cards. When we came home, we had um, weeks and weeks worth of meals that were brought to us. And it was just a reminder that while I'm at at school teaching my students how important our community is and while I'm trying to get them in the community to become a part of it um, they're also part of my community and I need them just as much as um, they need me so thank you for this opportunity let's take this opportunity to give all nine of our finalists a round of applause please <laughs> the 
it's been an absolute honor to share this day with the nine of you and, and those of you who are watching on TV and those in the, in the rotunda today. I would like to thank Glyptus and Grider Jones, Dr. Jones to my left, at KDE for helping coordinate the Kentucky Teacher Awards program. and to all others that were behind the scenes that made this event possible. Again, Dr. Jones, thank you for your hard work. And she does it all with a smile every single day, so we appreciate that so much. Also, again, we want to thank all of you for joining us on this memorable day to recognize these outstanding teachers and to shine a light on our noble profession. We are extremely grateful to Kentucky's educator workforce, which boasts more than 42,000 teachers. We host this cer ceremony every year to honor your hard work and dedication and to show our appreciation for the job that you do and the job that you love. As we close today, I want to encourage you to think of other deserving educators in our schools who are making positive impacts on young people's lives and nominate them for this recognition. We look forward to opening nominations for the 2026 Teacher of the Year Awards program on December 2nd. After all, I believe everyone in this room could point back to at least one teacher that contributed greatly to your sitting here today. Whether it be in your profession, whether it be as a teacher, whether it be as, uh, as a student, you could name at least one that got you to where you are. For me, that teacher of the year will always be Mr. Frank Baldridge, who gave me opportunities in public education that I never would have had. Again, my parents always told me I was going to, going to, going to college, but Mr. Baldridge helped me to dream, and I appreciate that so much. And that's something that they can't take away from each of you, is that dream that you helped kids to develop each and every day. Directly concluding the ceremony, our nine award recipients will head to the second floor we will look forward to, I'm sorry, uh, it'll be on the House Representative side of the group photo, which I think is up here. To the 2025 Kentucky Teacher Achievement winners, please stand one last time to be recognized and join us upstairs for the group photo. Let's give them another round of applause. Please stand. Please stand. Thank you so much. Thank you. This now concludes the program. We invite everyone to join us upstairs on the second floor mezzanine for light refreshments and the opportunity to congratulate these award winners and learn more about their passion for teaching. Thank you, see you next year, and as always, thank you for being all in. <laughs>